A histogram is used in statistical analysis to show the distribution of values graphically for a numeric variable like weight or salary. Often the possible values for the variable are in an essentially continuous range. So to create a histogram, you first divide the range into categories, or bins, and then count the number of observations in each bin. The histogram is then a column chart of these counts. Before Excel 2016, it was possible to create a histogram without pivot tables, but it was a fairly tedious process. Fortunately, Excel 2016 introduced a new chart type specifically for histograms, and it is easy to use. However, another possibility you can try uses a combination of pivot tables and pivot charts, and it is extremely quick and easy. The worksheet you see here lists 1,000 fictional salaries. I will first create a blank pivot table. Then I will drag salary to the rows area, not the values area, and I will drag any field to the values area where I will summarize it by counts. Next, I will group on salary. This is analogous to choosing the bins. The default offered is to have bins of length $10,000, but I will increase this to $20,000 so that there are fewer bins. Then I will create a pivot chart. The only thing left to do is fix up the chart slightly. Now I have a great histogram. If I decide to regroup, the chart updates automatically. So remember this from now on. If you ever have to create a histogram, one option is to use a pivot table. And this works for versions of Excel before 2016, as well as later versions.